Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like and subscribe. While Dems were showboating on the debate stage, Trump paid a visit to little-known U.S. base. On Wednesday night, 10 Democratic presidential contenders stood on a stage and competed to see who could promise the most free stuff. Ensure unborn babies will still be killed and characterize profits as America's nemesis. If you missed most of that dumpster fire because you had one more important things to do, you weren't the only one. Although President Donald Trump checked into the debate later, long enough to call it boring, he first took the time to do something exceptionally meaningful. During a trip to Japan, for the G20 summit, Air Force One made a refueling stop in Anchorage, Alaska. But instead of staying on the plane and watching New Jersey Senator Cory Booker give former Texas Representative Beto O'Rourke a the stink eye for speaking Spanish first, Trump did something awesomely patriotic. You see, there's a little-known U.S. military base called Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson in Anchorage. And after his plane landed, Trump took the time to make sure members of the military station there knew how grateful he was for their service. While Trump walked down the steps of Air Force One, he waved to the troops as the White House media pool noted. The president then pointed out that the debate had just started. I had my choice between you and them and I choose you, he said. Trump's stop was a meaningful gesture and one that will make a deep impact on those troops who were able to shake their commander-in-chief's hand. There were no doubt teens of people who could brief him later on the debate, but only Trump could encourage and greet our brave service members as the president and leader of the free world. Trump was convinced he knew how the debate would go anyway. I think they're all going to do very poorly, he said. Trump had previously expressed his lack of interest in the debate, saying it will be very boring to watch. I'm going to watch it because I have to. That's part of my life, Trump told Fox Business Maria Batramoro on Wednesday, as Politico noted. Do I want to watch it? Do I want to watch these people? It's a very unexciting group of people, Trump said of the Democratic contenders. If Trump was skeptical before Wednesday's debate, it's unlikely anything happened last night that will change his mind about Thursday night's showdown. The Thursday night lineup includes the two names who are consistently polling the highest, former Vice President Joe Biden and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Also on the card are South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg, California Senator Kamala Harris, Colorado Senator Michael Bennett, New York Senator Kristen Gillibrand, former Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper, California Representative Eric Swalwell, self-help guru Marianne Williamson, and entrepreneur Andrew Yang. Thursday's debate will again start at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will have the same moderators as Wednesday's event, Lester Holt, Savannah Gunthrie, Rachel Maddow, Jose Diaz-Ballart, and Chuck Todd. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.